Hello friends, the topic for today video is AVR memories in the device Atmega 328P. The Atmega 328P is a low power CMOS 8 bit microcontroller based on the AVR enhanced RISC architecture. The device has lot of features. It is also most popular of all AVR microcontrollers as it is used in the Arduino boards. In today's video, you will learn about the AVR memories, the data memory, program memory and the EE PROM memory. Let us start. Welcome to our channel Engineering and Technology for you. The topic for today is AVR memories in the device at Mega 328P. Overview The AVR architecture has two main memory spaces, the data memory and the program memory space. In addition, the device feature has an EEPROM memory for data storage. All the memory spaces are linear and regular. So, we will be discussing this memory space. First is in-system reprogrammable flash program memory. The Atmega 328P contains 32 kilobytes of on-chip in-system reprogrammable flash memory for program storage. Since all AVR instructions are 16 or 32 bit wide, the flash is organized as 16K by 16. The flash memory has an endurance of at least 10,000 write erase cycles. The Atmega 328P program counter is 14 bit wide, thus addressing 16K program memory locations. For software security, the flash memory space is divided into two sections, bootloader section and application program section in the device. Let us see the memory map. Let us see the program memory map. Here the program memory map starts at 0000 hexadecimal H and ends at 3 FFH. So at the start we have the application flash section starting from 0000 H and then the boot flash section will start here and it will end at 3 FFF because the total we have the 32 kilobytes or 16 k by 16 so that is how the memory map is shown then let us see the details of sram data memory the device is a complex microcontroller with more peripheral units than can be supported within the 64 locations reserved in the opcode for in and out instructions. For extended IO space from 6.0 to FF in SRAM, only the ST, STS, STD, that is nothing but store indirect, then store direct to data space and this store indirect with displacement or load direct sorry load indirect then load this LDS is load direct from data space and LDD is load indirect with displacement so this can be used for the extended IO space the lower 2303 data memory locations address both the register file IO memory extended IO memory and the internal data SRAM. The first two 32 locations address the register file. Then the next 64 locations the standard IO memory and then 160 locations of extended IO memory and the next 2k locations address the internal 
data SRAM. That is what we have seen in the memory map for the SRAM. Then let us go to the data memory access times. The internal data SRAM access is performed in two clock cycles of the CPU. So here, so most of the instructions they are executed within this. So you can see the clock CPU clock is here and this T1 is the one cycle and T2 is the second cycle. So during T1 it will compute the address and if the address is valid then data will be available during T2. So the write operation or the read operation can be performed during this D2. This is the read operation, this is the write operation. So the memory access instructions they are executed within these two cycles T1 and T2. So in this way it will uh, enhance the speed of the processing. The next is EEPROM data memory. The Admega 328P contains 1 kilobytes of data EEPROM or E square PROM. It is sometimes called. It is organized as a separate data space in which single bytes can be read or written. The EEPROM has endurance of at least 1 lakh write erase cycles. So you can see the endurance for the memory is, is very high. The access between EEPROM and CPU is described in the following specifying the EEPROM address register, the EEPROM data register and the EEPROM control register. So these three registers are used for addressing. Then let us go to the I.O. memory. All device I.O.s and peripherals are placed in this I.O. space. All the I.O. locations may be accessed by the LD, LDS, LDD and ST, STS and STD instructions. Transferring data between 32 general purpose working registers and the I.O. space. So these are the instructions for load and store then IO registers within the address range that is 0021F are directly bit accessible using SBI and CBI instructions. These are nothing but the set bit in IO and clear bit in IO instructions. So directly uh, the, and they are bit accessible. So each uh, every bit we can set or clear with the help of these instructions. So in these registers the value of single bit can be checked by using SBIS and SBIC instructions. Now, when using IO specific command in and out the IO address 0 to 3 of must be used. Then when as addressing IO register as data space using LD and ST instructions. 20 must be added to these addresses. That is what we will have to do if you want to uh, say access the IO registers as a data space. Then IO space definition of the device is shown in register summary. We will just have a glance at the register summary so that some things uh, you can understand. Register summary. So this is complete register summary. Here you can see the DDRB, port B, pin B, pin C, DDRC, port C, then pin D, DDRD, port T. So DDR data direction registers and the port registers they are shown here for port B, C and D. So and these are the bit positions. So pin say B7, B6, B5, B4, B3, B2, B1 and B0. And all are 
say here we can access the pins or the resistors bitwise then here we have the tifr0 ti that is the timer flag and then we have some other uh, sfrs here you can see there is the timer t control 0 t control 0 like that we have the all the different resistors which are used in the device then similarly if you go to the next part the address now it has changed so we have again the spl sph then the watchdog timer and other registers related to clock then here we have the adcl adch then ddr0 ddr1 like that the registers are present and here we can the it shows the bit addressability of those registers which are present here then lastly again we have the last page and it is up to 6c addresses from c89 to 6c so again here the some of the registers are placed here tcc r 2a 2b like that then you can see all the registers so this is just the register summary of the internal registers of admega 328p so with this we come to the end of this video if you have any questions you can contact me on facebook twitter gmail and instagram and if you like the video press the like button share with your friends and subscribe to our channel engineering and technology forum and if you want to get notifications for future videos press the bell icon thanks for watching have a nice